guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back. My name is Laura, for those of you that do not know, and today is a really exciting video because we are going to be doing another After We Collided update. There are tons of photos and videos from set, really exciting things that I know you guys have seen probably already, but I want to discuss with you guys. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. If you guys missed my last video, it was talking all about the cast for After We Collided, all of the new additions, and certainly some pretty surprising things regarding characters being replaced placed and some new stuff so if you haven't checked all of that out or seen my video I'll have it linked down below you should check it out I will also have an after we collided playlist started down below so if you've missed my previous videos on after we collided you can get caught up also follow me on my Twitter and Instagram for instant updates but today I'm going to be going through and talking about everything that we've gotten so far regarding pictures on set and fun things like that so let's get started the first and probably most exciting picture in my opinion is the one of Trish Tess and Harden in their apartment. It is so cute and adorable. I'm absolutely obsessed with this photo. I think that Hero looks phenomenal. He's really serving Harden in this photo. I don't know what it is about it, but he is. Um, Josephine obviously looks so cute. Her hair is so like adorable, so Tessa-y. And then obviously we have Louise as Trish, who we haven't really seen a whole ton of, but just her sitting there next to hero Harden um seems so perfect and I can really like feel the family dynamic between them it just feels very real and I really love them like as a little family I think it's so cute um and then obviously the background of this is the apartment um which is gonna obviously be a different apartment than the last movie because in the last movie it was an apartment that wasn't really necessarily theirs but i'm assuming that for the second movie they're gonna have an actual apartment like the one described in the book and if that is so i think that this background looks very much like how i pictured their actual apartment in the book to be like um like the little background the closet the bed even like it's just very hessa-y apartment like and i'm really excited obviously if we're having trish in the apartment Apartment. There's a lot of hope for scenes where she's with them for Christmas, which is one of my favorite parts of After We Collided. I absolutely love when she comes home and decides she's not going to spend Christmas with her mom because she's upset with her. She comes back and they have to kind of pretend like they're still together. I really love that part and I'm hoping and praying it'll be in the movie. So that's what I'm assuming is going on here, but obviously we're not sure. But I'm just obsessed with this photo. I think it's so great and adorable. I think they all look fantastic and in character. And I'm just so excited to see what lies beyond this and what's going to happen with the scenes. I'm really excited. Another picture that we can assume was kind of taken in the Hessa apartment is this one of Hardin, where he's sitting on the couch. Obviously, it's not a full body picture, but we see kind of like his outfit, which is all black, which screams Hardin. I'm obsessed with the shoes that they gave him, the boots. I think those are so nice, and I'm very excited to see those on Hero. Um, and this is just a good picture. I really like the vibe that they've given him. I feel like they're giving him better, like, fitting clothes. Like, I feel like in the last movie, they gave him a lot of, like, t-shirts I wouldn't assume he would wear. And in this film so far, it seems like they're sticking to a lot of, like, all black, more fitted, hardeny type things, which I really appreciate. So I'm super excited, obviously, to see him like that. I think it's going to be really good. Dylan Sprouse has really been coming through with some content, which I expect nothing less of him. Um, one day he posted this video video of him filming a scene with Roger, who's directing, obviously. It's a man who suffers for his art. Yes. <laughs> on his throne. I like to sit on the toilet when I direct. <laughs> Um, it looks like they're in like a hotel bathroom is what I'm assuming. You can kind of see Dylan if you zoom in on the monitor, uh, but it's showing that Roger's filming like from the toilet area. So it's probably a scene of Trevor in the bathroom at the hotel. Um, there's a scene from the book where they're at the hotel after they go to the club and they're in Seattle for the trip. I don't know how that's all going to play out because obviously the first movie doesn't take place in Seattle. I don't even think they tried to make it seem like it took place in Washington at all because all of the license plates in the movie said Atlanta and they film it in Atlanta and the weather looks more like the southern weather so I don't really know I don't know if they're trying to put on a facade that it's Washington I wouldn't think they are so I'm curious to know where they're actually going in this like where the big hub for publishing is if they're in Atlanta um, so that should be interesting but it does look like they're at a hotel Dylan also posted this picture of hero from behind the scenes which I thought was so funny cursed thick hero Dylan's just I don't understand he's so funny but it makes no sense like 
none of his jokes make sense um but this picture is really funny obviously his like blown up shirt yeah we have to laugh we also got two super exciting pictures of hessa outside of what seems to be their apartment building but looks so not how i pictured the outside of their apartment building it looks so like industrial area interesting i don't really know i can't even tell but you can see that they're kind of in an embrace in this photo i love tessa's outfit first of all it looks exactly like what she wears in the book the leggings the white little dress the heels like i'm obsessed with it i think it's so tessa harden hero's outfit i don't really know how to feel about it i can't really tell um how it looks but i mean whatever go off um obviously though these are two pictures one you can see harden's face and the other you can't what this scene is i think is what i was talking about earlier where she leaves her mom's house for christmas and she comes back to the apartment to stay with harden and harden's mom for the holiday even though they're not together and she runs into Harden's arms because she's so upset. That's what I'm assuming this scene is. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. But I think that that's what it is and that's their apartment area. Who knows? Like, it could be really anything. They could be playing a trick on us and posting this. Like, you guys know what this scene is and then it's, like, not that at all. Um, but that's what I'm assuming it is. And if it is, I'm so excited because literal favorite part of the book, I think. That, the nine days... Yeah, After We Collided is my favorite. What's your favorite after book? Let me know down below. Dylan also posted another video while they were filming the club scene. So yes, they do go to the club. Trevor, Tessa, and I'm assuming Vance and Kim are there. Um, but Dylan posted this video of him and you can see Josephine in it. How much do you guys love the club? Rick Wilder, please. Quiet, please. Yeah. Come on, guys. And he's just being his normal weird self and there's another guy in the the clip i can't really tell who he is i don't remember there being like another person there perhaps he's like another worker from vance who knows um but yeah you can see joe very clearly there in the gold dress which is so like whoa for tessa i don't really know how i feel about it but she looks beautiful as always so can't really say anything there but yeah, everyone was kind of shook about Dylan's appearance with like the glasses. Personally, I first of all still think he looks good. Everyone's like, they made him look so ugly. I'm like, where did that come from? He does not look ugly. He's so cute. Also, like, I feel like they're trying to give Trevor kind of like the nerdy vibe because he literally is like this guy that works in like finance at a publishing house. Like that's, yeah, like they're going to give him that nerdy vibe. I think the glasses fit him really well. A lot of people are saying they don't like them, but I personally like them. So I don't know. I think he looks good as Trevor and he fits it so well. And I'm just so excited to see him on camera as Trevor. It's so exciting. Um, but yeah, both of them look really good. I'm so excited to see how the club scene like goes i don't really know they could be changing it up obviously just the way that the last movie ended and for them to get this book accurate into this movie i feel like a lot's gonna need to change because if they just go straight into this like nothing is different from the book it's gonna be a little confusing so i don't really know how they're gonna pull it off but i'm hopeful I just have no idea. We also got a picture of Candace King as Kim, which was super cute. She just looks so like Kim to me. I'm obsessed with her. I think she's the perfect fit. I'm so excited to see her acting. I know everybody came for me in my comment section last video because I haven't read The Vampire Diaries. I promise I'm working on it. I will watch it just for you guys. <laughs> I don't really know what to expect when it comes to her, but I'm so excited in general. I can tell that a lot of you guys have trust in her acting skills, so I'm just gonna have trust in their acting skills as well i'm very excited to see her as kim i just think she fits the part so perfectly so yeah those are some other photos that were released very very good um other than that i really recommend you guys to follow roger cumble on instagram because he's constantly posting little behind the scenes bits um from filming so if you follow him on there you'll get to see those also follow my twitter i repost a lot of stuff on there as well but that's gonna be it for today's video lots of really exciting things going on there's been also a bunch of different things i've heard Anna say like certain things that are going to be in the movie certain things that aren't um, that the movie will be coming out next year during spring so if you guys want a video of me talking about just kind of like speculated ideas I have about the movie and things that I think are going to be happening let me know scenes that I think they're going to include stuff like that I'd be happy to do that for you guys but I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching it make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any more after content from me but thank you guys so so much for watching this video and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!